So yeah, here it is. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna take this long, uh, but it is absolutely, it was a lot of work actually. So read, read this entire uh, area right here and I'll get out of the way so you can see that area over there. I'm kind of proud of it. Obviously I have it lit up right now. This is just temporary lighting because um, you'll see here in a second. We are basically redoing the entire trailer electrical and adding solar, wiring everything properly and going that way again kind of prepping for the you know down the road too so everything's going to be overbuilt you know we got two watt wire going with the batteries you know we're, we're making sure we got enough for good some good amperage later on down the road if i want to go lithium ion all that kind of stuff so but i want to talk about this first it is absolutely so far it's been working out great obviously uh, i have it's not wired yet so i have to do it the old school way of just running an extension cord to the trailer actually just straight onto uh right over here and just plug it in and charge what I can at that time. So, so let's get to it and uh, I'll give you guys the whole overview and we'll go over the uh, everything we're doing to the trailer electrical wise, the entire build series, all that good stuff. Let's get right into it. All right, so here it is. I'll give you guys the whole area. Now I do have to put some more dividers in here. You can see I have you know one right there and one right up here but that's basically it so we're gonna put some more in here that way I can kind of keep stuff a little more organized but that's later on down the road we got the Makita we got the uh, Milwaukee fast rapid chargers and supercharger fast tool DeWalt and Mutabo uh, excuse me now the main thing was is battery storage I you guys I'll, I'll throw a picture in maybe like right here or something what, what, what else it looked like but uh, you can you can kind of get the gist of it if I can get it a little further away because there you guys go so uh, it was no no real I mean we have battery storage but not that great so uh, my battery storage has been increasing and I needed more space so here we go we got four well three and a half really but we got Milwaukee uh, DeWalt and uh, Makita and then we got Festool Hitachi up here and you know miscellaneous and then uh, so far I've been putting up the uh, dead batteries up top there and it's been working out anything that doesn't fit on the chargers goes up here and that works out just fine so we've got my power strip down there wired in and it's gonna be plugged into here we got uh, the four outlets right there I discounted I used to have two here no real need for it never actually used it so I just did one and then we still have your um, USB ports over here and also one additional outlet as well so and you can see I'm using that right now phone and uh, you know I use it I use all my tools we buy them because we we need them and we use them so basically uh, and I shortened this area I shortened this area up right here because I didn't really need much I have the main magnet up here I got the secondary right here and then just a, a couple bars to hold you know glasses tape measures whatever else I need up here as well and it's been working out this is fantastic this is going to be the last version of this for sure this is absolutely working out like I wanted to I, I spent a lot of time thinking about this because how I wanted it I need more charging space all that kind of stuff and battery storage now I don't use all this anyway, obviously, but the whole point is not to be completely maxed out, so I have room to grow. And uh, you can see the lights. So I'm not nothing up top because not, not a point. There's no reason to it. So that's basically the charging station, guys. This is absolutely what I wanted. Um, and it takes. It did, I probably have 20 hours, 23 man hours or so, give or take, into this entire setup right here. I know it takes a lot of time to tear it apart and put it back together redesign all that kind of stuff so but that is that is the charging station so we're going to go into the rest of the tool trailer well my plans for it will show you all the, the parts and everything this entire video series is going to be up this is the first video of this series but it's all going to be up my patreon page i will link in the description the next videos and we're going to watch going to be a tutorial how i i do all this we're walking through all the materials um, how I do it, what the pros and cons of it are, and my th rationing and thinking behind everything here. So let's get into it. We'll get to the parts. And they're right. All right, so the parts list is going to be pretty much everything you see here, minus the actual solar panel and a couple things I'm going to show you here in a second. We've got a uh, two breaker box. I think this is a 30 amp, but we're going to convert it over to 15 amp. We'll show you how to do that. It's not that hard, but 
There's a reason for this. I'll get to it here when I show you the inverter while we're doing this for shore power. We've got our rocker panel, rocker switch panel. This is for all my lights, uh, which is going to be, you know, we've got six of them here. We've got a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter and voltage, which we're not going to use. And we also have USBs here too. But uh, this will show you <clears throat> each one of these is actually, they're all wired in, um, I want to say they're daisy chained together. So we're going to each of these actual um, switches are going to have its own fuse. Uh, we're going to we're going to wire those separately. And I built a or I just kind of cut and I built a little wire loom just for it. So we can actually have each one of these on the, its own fuse. That's I mean, that's pretty much what we're doing here. So because <laughs> I don't want just one 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 hot going to it just, just to feed it because I don't that's that's not the way I want to do it. But you can you can wire it that way absolutely i'm just saying that's not how i want to do it and that's not how we're going to do on this one we have a short power male connector let me see if i can get this with one hand here uh, right here so we're going to put this on the outside of the trailer and and we, we're actually gonna have to cut that open and get it for the mc but that goes on the outside for the short power which is going to connect to the inverter which connects to this we we can we can power everything up and charge our batteries at the same time Got ourselves a nice little shunt and battery monitor. So it's gonna tell us voltage, um, voltage used, amps, how much battery power we got left, all that good stuff. We've got six gauge kit there that's gonna be used for our MPV charge controller and anything else we're gonna need. We're gonna have a bunch of, a few bus bars here for all of our hot and neutral or, you know, grounds and hots. Battery shutoffs, um, solar shutoffs right here, just quick. So you can, you can just disconnect the power for it. So if you need to work on anything, we've got the Ames uh, power inverter remote switch. So I can, this is gonna be mounted next to this. I'll show you where that's gonna be mounted, but we're gonna be mounting it next to it. So I can turn on inverter when I need to, and I can turn on all the battery power and all that good stuff when I need to. Uh, we've got a, obviously a bunch of uh, fuses, 150 amps, 300 amps, and an 80 amp. That's your, uh, uh, your lines for your solar panel. So we now I'm only using one 330 watt solar panel, but you can obviously, you know, you can wire them in series or parallel depending on how you want to do it. I've got two watt cables. This is for my batteries. Uh, I had these pre-cut and um, crimped and, and uh, what do you call them? Put the, uh, shoot, it's late. But uh, yeah, the heat shrink on it. That way I didn't have to do it because I am not buying a huge um, hydraulic um, crimper but you can too i'll put a link in the description for all this stuff here coming up shortly it won't be right when this video posts up because i still have to get a bunch of stuff in order but it will be there so you guys can see everything that i'm using and then we got extra here for the actual positive and negative um, feeds going into the bus bars so that's all we have here and then let's go up to the front oh, we got a tw uh, we got the 12 port uh, 12 volt fuse panel that's what this is basically this is all your fuses right here this is what all the those what everything's gonna be ran through as far as 12 volts gonna be concerned 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter and we've got a mpp charge controller right there uh that is a bluetooth also so we're, we're gonna be able to take care of uh you know monitor stuff via bluetooth when we're in here as well which is nice so and then also the reason why we're doing the uh th the 15 amp breaker box is because you can see back here we had an issue now the system still worked, but you can see right there that they arced out and we had an issue. So we're gonna replace that and we'll, we'll protect everything with fuses and uh, breakers. So that's that's what we have in here. This is gonna be the main area. We're gonna put lights up in here as well with its own little rocker switch that's on the the, uh, the switch panel itself. That way I don't need to light this all the time, but if when I want to look in here, or when I wanna work in here, I'll have light. And then we down here is just gonna be basically, you can see where we have everything ran to. We've got the MC lines. These are going to be going straight into um, the inverter. It's going to be on this side, actually. And then once, once actually, it, it auto has an automatic transfer switch. So if it senses shore power, it'll switch over, start charging the batteries. And then, um, you know, the MPV charge controller will stop uh, inputting whatever voltage it's, it's, it has from the solar panels. So, and then we have our six deep, deep cycle exceed batteries right here at 115 amp hours each. And there's six of them. I have them in. On this side they are heavy i will say um down the road we are going to, we are going to upgrade to lithium ion uh for multiple reasons one of the main reasons is weight um i think you could probably have 
I don't know, probably 18 lithium ion batteries is the same same weight as here. So, <laughs> and these are all 12 volt. They're uh, wired in parallel. So basically we have one big, big 12 volt battery. That's what we have, because this is a 12 volt inverter. So we're gonna keep it on 12 volts. Uh, but we're these are all gonna, we're upgrading all these right here to the two watt wire. And then everything's gonna be random to here for on the power source. And then up in here, we're going to basically it's all gonna be big tool storage right now like it is right now we get the band saw and a big other so this is all gonna be big tool storage we'll have more light in here as well um, that's what we're using this space up here for now because that's where the inverter used to be uh, a couple other things about lithium-ion batteries is um, one they're expensive and but they do have uh, also you can't charge them when it's really really cold out so they have to have a kind of a, a blanket heat source to keep them up to temperature so you can charge them as well uh, these ones you do not uh, you know, lead acid batteries. I mean, this te this tech has been around for over 100 years. Uh, I, yeah, these are these are old old school batteries, but they are obviously work. And you can only use 50% depth of discharge for lead acid. Otherwise, you run the risk of uh, permanently damaging the battery bank. So, even though I have six batteries, I can only use three batteries of actual amp hours because I don't want I don't want to bring them down below 12 volts. So, it, it basically, if you're buying two batteries, you can only use one with lead acid now with lithium ion you can bring de depth of discharge probably all the way down to you know 20 percent or so maybe even less but you know you have that whole 80 percent you know 85 percent depth of discharge available to you which is also nice and then you have a lot more cycles that's another reason why you should go uh, lithium ion but they are expensive uh i think you with all six of these batteries you 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 can buy one lithium ion battery so at 12 volts that's now I will be you can build them for a lot cheaper than that but you know if you want to just buy them right off the shelf plug and play they you're, you're paying a little pretty pretty penny so enough of that that's my battery bank and then we're gonna go with the wiring here um, for the lighting we're running 14 gauge uh, wires you can see them down here having a little a little spools down there but those are basically we are daisy chaining all the wiring here these are all see if I can keep the light out of it here but that's all LED lighting now uh, the gauge of wire depends on your amps you're put, you're trying to push through it so LEDs don't have very many amps so we can get away with daisy chaining everything off one 14 gauge now uh, and that's just for those lights as well and you can see I think this is like probably 23 or you know 23 gauge or so whatever it is they come with stock but yeah 14 gauge it is uh, these are uh, Dorman wires so we're basically just going through it so one, one little switch for the rocker panel will turn off all the light turn on all the lights and then we are set to go so and then we're gonna be we all this right here you guys we're gonna be getting rid of uh, we're you know tearing out all the old wires some of that's actually my exterior lighting we are running some exterior lighting we're gonna have some light bars in the outside for extra light but we'll be wiring as well and uh, that way it, you know, if we need it, we have it. It's not gonna be an always on kind of thing because they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna draw some amps for sure. We'll probably put like 10 gauge or so for those because they draw, they draw a few, they, they do draw a few amps. So <laughs> I think that's all I have for you guys on this right here. I mean, as far as wiring this, all you're gonna be doing is I, I do basically just uh, cut and splice and then we just, we just wire them together, twist them together with some tape. Um, and when it gets warmer out, I'll probably come back behind myself and solder them together. So here, let's see if we can get over here. It's a little dark, but you can see you get the you know you get the two in. It is basically supply power, and we're good to go. So that's all we have. That's it for this little video. Big uh, big stuff coming on, but we, you know this wiring stuff's not the fanciest way of uh, doing the video. But this is it has to be done. We've got to get all the wiring completed. And oh, by the way, this is where the uh, the rocker panel is going, and the all the su supply and all the switch and stuff. We have to build out a little spot for it, but it's going to be right here, so I can open the door, just reach around, and basically um, hit a, hit the switch, so I can turn the lights on before I get in here and trip over everything that's in the floor, because nobody wants to put anything back. Oh, <sighs> all right, and that is all we have. Like and subscribe, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.